Good morning, everybody. I'm Stefano, uh, working at Geosolutions as front-end developer, uh, in particular on the Geonode uh, integration uh, with MapStore. So in this presentation, I'll try to highlight uh, how we integrated uh, MapStore front framework inside the Geonode. Uh, before to start uh, with the uh, Geonode UI, I would like to introduce what's Geonode. Uh, Geonode is a content management system for spatial data, so you can upload and manage data. And uh, for this uh, SDI, we, uh, we worked uh, in particularly from the version 3.4 in an announcement on the UI. And uh, through this presentation, we will try to highlight the species that compose the user interface. Mm, we can see from this screenshot that it's the home page of Geonode. And uh, the home page uh, right now, here what we are seeing, it's composed by different pieces. Some of them are rendered server side through the Django template uh, engine, and some of them through the React uh, provided by Mostor. So uh, we see the uh, resources below, so those cards are coming from the map store integration, while the uh, header and the component are static HTML rendered from the uh, Django template engine. So we have, we try to list uh, what are these pieces. Uh, I mentioned the Django template snippets, and with snippet, snippets we mean uh, some small HTML that could easily override through Geonode project. So if you have a project, you can override that component and replace, for example, the hero of the page, of the header, the footer, uh, without uh, to touch the core. Because one of the um, aim of uh, this new implementation was to avoid to fork too much the main repository and allow Max uh, maximum uh, customization through the Geonode project. Uh, there is still some jQuery vanilla JavaScript uh, just to manage the bootstrap of the layout, uh, for example, the header and the footer. And uh, also the CSS and theming has been announced using the CSS variables. Uh, we work to improve the theme to support uh, um, all these native CSS variables so those could be, uh, you could change the theme just by uh, replacing uh, uh, some variables. And finally, we have uh, introduced the uh, MapStore framework uh, with the enhancement of the application that can manage data from Geonode. Here an example of the one, uh, I'm talking about uh, HTML uh, snippet. Here uh, there is the, um, is the catalog page. You can see that there is HTML and then some uh, block header. So these blocks could be overridden by a general project, uh, replaced with uh, the content that you prefer. For example, the header uh, component could be completely removed or uh, override. Here an example how we use uh, and we try to remove uh, as much as possible uh, the vanilla JavaScript and uh, use only for uh, minimum interaction like the bootstrap library. Here is the theming. Uh, if you want to try also to create your own theme, you could uh, go to these links. Uh, we created a sort of static page where you can uh, select the variable of the interface. Then there is a get snippet. Clicking on that, you will receive a CSS selector. So you can put in a static CSS, and the theme of uh, Geonode will receive those uh, uh, variables as information to replace the theme. And finally, uh, the Genome App Store client integration is a separate repository from the Geonode core. Uh, it provides the default UI for Geonode. Here are just a screenshot that show the six uh, application that we are providing. Uh, the most uh, used one is the catalog one, and the other just to create some uh, um, pages for the viewers in the embed mode. So we introduced Genome Maps Client. So what's my Genome Maps Client? Uh, it's the default Genode client. So when you install Genode, you receive this module inside because it's inside the requirement of Genode. It's a Python module. 
that provide the template and snippets that will override the core one. And uh, we are working also to extend those. Right now, some pages are still in the core of the Geonode. And uh, we are working to completely remove those. Because the new Geonode 4 uh, focus on the API, the V2 API. So we want that the integ integration through the client and uh, the, the server works through API only. But it's not still possible, so some pages are still on the Geonode side core. And uh, it contains the React uh, application that are built on top of the Map Store framework. Geonode Map Store client in version 3 uh, use Map Store and the map store framework uh, that provides this component for the map viewer, layer viewer, dashboard, and your story that we included through all the evolution of the version 3. Then, when we move to the version 4, we got the new API. We work also to enhance the, pay, the home page, the page of the catalog, to also display details directly in the catalog without switching between pages and uh, uh, adding document viewer at the upload uh, through new interfaces. So as I mentioned before, it was possible because the new API v2 that uh, we did not need anymore the injection or from the template tags that are handler that Django template provide. We are still using those uh, to provide a variable to the client. So there is a communication also through injection, but the preferred one now goes through the uh, API v2. So one question that happens a lot in the community is uh, what's the difference between uh, the Map Store and the Genome Map Store client? Uh, currently, the Genome Map Store client inside Genode is uh, using uh, the framework part or the front, the front end of Map Store does not include uh, the back end because Map Store itself product uh, provide a GeoStore back end that it's not included in Geonode. So when we work on integration, we take uh, piece by piece what Geonode provide and integrate inside uh, the uh, Geonode core environment. Most of the functionality that there are in Map Store has been successfully ported in Geonode Map Store client, like the maps, dashboard, and viewer, and the GeoStories one. Other tools that are not available in Map Store have been implemented for the Geonode Map Store, Geonode Map Store client. So the um, for example, uh, the upload pages, the document viewer, and the catalog was not available by default in App Store. So we needed to uh, create uh, these new pages that are only available for the general store client uh, implementation. But other tools uh, are not currently av available, uh, such as the context application, that are application that App Store provides to compose the map viewer the serial selector, the 3D, map, 3D maps uh, inside your node. So the, the question that comes often is, it's possible to have the missing plugins uh, inside the Genome Store client. Uh, and uh, it, it's hard to, to, to say yes or no, because uh, there are some, the, the difference in between the two environments, the Genome one has a, a workflow that goes through uh, the upload, uh, while uh, also the so it's the stack contains uh, all the SDI component, different, different layer from the Map Store front end, the Django for the management of the user and uh, the resources, and on the back end also there is a Postgres and uh, um, Geo server. While here uh, for uh, the Map Store the design is different, uh, that it could be composed by a small module where. Map Store provide only the, the product itself, uh, the part related to the manage management of application and resources. So we need, uh, when we need to create, for example, uh, the uh, integration of contents, analyze the design of Geonode and uh, be able to include that. In some cases, uh, uh, the, the new plugin are not included because the functionality are already covered by some workflow of Geonode. And, uh, also, the difference in between uh, the version of Map Store, because uh, there is a uh, needs on alignment of the uh, version that the Genome Map Store client uses and uh, Map Store, uh, the latest version. So, an update also on the revision is needed to obtain uh, some tools. 
what we did to uh, enhance Geonode, we take advantage of one functionality that comes from the MapStore core, that it's a concept of uh, MapStore extension. And uh, we decide to introduce uh, the MapStore extension uh, uh, also in uh, Geonode. In this way, uh, we could, for specific, uh, um, uh, let's say, application and workflow, uh, add uh, a specific tools or plugin. An example, we needed to analyze uh, uh, meteorological data. This plugin is not available neither in Map Store, neither in Genode, but the, the client wanted something, it needed to visualize this data. So for this specific uh, work, uh, we created a separate repository where we able to build our zip file and include that inside the Genode uh, environment without a fork, uh, create a fork of the main core repository. So uh, we, we are working still to simplify this process. I linked before the documentation if you want to take a look to, on how to set up this. And, uh, but we want to improve also uh, all the steps needed to simplify this approach and also give allows the use of uh, a framework that could different from uh, the uh, react one here are an overview of um, the pages that we added here uh, you can see the new catalog uh, before we saw in uh, card mode but it's possible also to see, to have a visualization of uh, list on the left there is the filters that it's working through the API. We are also currently announcing in the version 4.1 uh, with the addition of Faceset and uh, the concept of filtering also through dynamic filters. So when you select a filter, it will update the UI. So it's an ongoing work that we're currently um, looking at. Here there are some uh, uh, the, the, the before in the version three, uh, there is a, there was an in between page uh, through the selection of an item in the resources and uh, the visualization of the detail. In the new React implementation, uh, we merge these two steps together. So once you click uh, on uh, an item on the on a card item, uh, it will pop up the preview directly on uh, on the right. This detail preview could be uh, extended through configuration. There uh, was the need also to, for example, add a new tab uh, or remove some rows, and we are working to allow through static configuration uh, to inject different content there. It's still an ongoing work, but there was a need uh, to uh, review and, uh, I mean, restructure this, uh, this detail viewer, so we are working also on that side. Uh, the map viewer, uh, this map viewer uh, is uh, it's providing the main, uh, let's say, functionality from App Store. We review the UI by uh, removing the vertical sidebar and uh, opted for the horizontal one. Uh, the reason was to align with the theme uh, that we had uh, inside the Django template. So we are able to switch in between the React, the React application and uh, the HTML template without losing the uh, overall layout aspect. So we opted for these inline uh, uh, menu items, but those are providing the same functionality. There are some differences in the UI through the settings. That's because uh, uh, Geonode provides metadata, metadata for each layer that you include that it uh, could be uh, as more options, so we decide also to change some visualization through the uh, editing of layer inside your node. The dashboard, uh, as you can see, it's uh, really similar to the one that we have in Map Store. We kept the style of the header and footer, but the component uh, and the widget available are the same that are in Map Store. If the release is the same, used by the General Master client. GeoStore is the same. We integrated this page directly in, uh, in GeoNode. Uh, and uh, in GeoNode, there's a concept of GeoApp. The document viewer, that it's something that uh, there is no by default in the framework. We included this to support the visualization of uh, images, videos, and uh, document like PDF. So there is a preview of those documents. 
Lately, we also experimented with the possibility to upload a GLB file, so 3D model. It, th those are not referenced to a specific location, but just an update of the document, uh, update of the, the document. And there is an interactive view to uh, look around this uh, 3D element that you can uh, upload. Uh, the idea is also to go in a direction to include the, the 3D in uh, Geonode, and this was a first step of in this experimentation. Uh, the upload data set page, uh, here you can upload different formats in Geonode, so you have this user interface, interface, you can drag and drop and upload multiple files at the same time, and those will be then available uh, in uh, the database of uh, Geonode. Uh, the, uh, the upload uh, document page is the one that I mentioned before, the preview. There you can uh, upload different types of data, images, video, and uh, as I said, also 3D model with, through the GLB uh, file extension. And uh, the metadata edit page. This is an, uh, I wanted to also add this. Uh, there are other pages like this. Uh, the metadata is still using completely the Django framework. Uh, there is an idea also to improve this, to take advantage of the React framework and uh, go completely to another side. It's still there, but we're also enhancing some func functionality that are, are available here. Here in uh, this last part of the presentation, I want to share some documentation links uh, that could be useful if you want to take a look uh, uh, on uh, the general maps or client environment. First of all, uh, the uh, repository. Uh, here you can find the source code, it's an open source project, so everything uh, could be found there, including also some links uh, to an internal documentation. That it's this one. So from the version 4.1, uh, we are including uh, JS doc uh, in uh, the document and compiling every commit that we did. So they're available uh, on the left, uh, configuration for plugins. So what we can do, what a user can do and modify, and some documentation related to tutorials. Uh, some common requested changes, and here you can find, uh, for example, the theme tool that I showed before, there is a link for that, or also uh, how to customize some pages. Finally, there is, a, in the global, uh, a new, um, let's say, handler that we are adding inside the Geonode um, page. Uh, in the global page, we are adding the Map Store API that it's uh, a JavaScript object that contains some uh, method that could dispatch action and uh, interact with Map Store. Uh, here there is some docs, so if you want to uh, have uh, some interaction with components that are not built on React, uh, that docu documentation could help you to uh, interact with the elements that are inside the viewer, for example. Uh, we have also some training material. The section that I linked here is spe uh, specific for the client itself. Uh, there are steps uh, on how to uh, develop and also to create extension uh, for uh, the general Store client. Uh, the, an important part uh, to understand the concept behind uh, the General Map Store client is the Map Store uh, Genode framework. So uh, I would suggest to take a look to the developer documentation also through Map Store. Uh, here I link the, the developer one that could be interesting for the person that want to uh, change also the, let's say, uh, configuration. But uh, in the top bar, there, there is also some links to the user guide, so how to use the component. As I said, there is some difference in the UI, so maybe uh, here it's focused on the map store product, but at the end, the um, component will provide similar uh, functionalities. And uh, on the right, there are also the configuration through the uh, plugin one. The more, the more rel rele relevant one is the one related to plugins. And this one, so here you can find how the plugins could be configured uh, based on the one that you have in Map Store. Uh, the plugins uh, uh, could be customized through a JSON file, static configuration. So providing, for example, some Boolean, you can uh, uh, remove some parts based on the plugin that you want to modify. Uh, thanks, uh, and if there are questions.